Hi there, this is Mr Evans with a video on um, technology and how it's used uh, in relation to market research. So we're now down here in this section 3.32, how technology is used in gathering and analysing data for marketing decision making. So having a look at this, I thought I'd first of all consider some examples of how we use technology to gather data, then um, try and give some examples of how it's used to how technology is used to analyse data um, and we'll have a look at, uh, at the end, the, the value of using technology in those two uh, scenarios of gathering and analysing data. So how do we use technology to gather data? Um, well, spreadsheets are a very useful way of tracking um, trends over time. Um, also use databases of course, uh, we can use them to track our daily monthly sales figures, uh, we can do that by product to analyse uh, trends over time, seasonal variations in sales and so on and so forth. Um, there's an awful lot of data uh, storage and collection software that businesses can use, specialise for different industries um, and that uh, can enable businesses to gather a large amount of data um, which are then stored. In previous times that would have been um, kept as maybe paper records, um, very time consuming to do that and very laborious to then store that um, and go through that when you want to find something. Um, you know you see old films and if you look in the um, uh, you see scenes of these huge libraries of documents that businesses have, sales records going back years. All of that can now be stored quite cheaply because of these data storage and collection software packages. Um, and that saves storage costs. Um, loyalty cards are a really useful way of gathering data that um, lots of businesses, particularly uh, retailers use to gather data on what consumers are buying. You hand over your details, uh, your email address, your name, your age sometimes, um, and the business can keep tabs on, on, on what you're buying. Um, businesses can use electronic and online surveys to gather information relatively cheaply. They usually relatively simple to fill in. Sometimes I've just seen uh, like um, a pop-up flash up, uh, you know, rate this uh, website and you've got a smiley face, a, a straight face and a sad face. A um, really simple, basic way for a business to collect some uh, data on how consumers are finding their website. Um, Click-through data. So um, every time uh, an advert pops up, um, Businesses have a record of how often you're actually clicking through and making a purchase. This enables a business uh, to much more effectively judge how successful its advertising has been in terms of actually generating sales. Going back to that old John Wanamaker saying, I, I explained in the previous video, you know, half of my advertising spending is wasted, I just don't know which half. Um, Technology, through the uh, records that is kept, people who click through and actually make a purchase, we can far more effectively judge uh, what advertising is effective. Um, and social media allows businesses to track live feedback, what people are saying about the company live. Uh, there are some good examples of how businesses have used uh, social media. I think Greg's had a really good example um, a few years ago, I can't remember exactly what the context was, but anyway, they used Twitter to uh, their advantage um, and it was recording likes and dislikes and, uh, and sorry, they, businesses can use Facebook to record likes and dislikes um, and just gather information about how consumers are reacting to their products. Um, finally, inventory systems can be used to connect um, a business to suppliers, uh, the suppliers gather data on how many products are selling and then inventory can be um, far more effectively uh, distributed. 
So in terms of analysing data, um, there are loads of software packages out there that uh, enable a business to quickly uh, complete forecasting, extrapolation, trend analysis. Previously, uh, humans would have had to search through that data um, and bring, you know, and sort of project forward. Businesses can now use um, technology to do that for them. Um, presentation packages like uh, PowerPoint, what I'm using at the moment, and other presentation pa packages um, can be used to uh, display information relatively simply. Um, a board meeting, for example, and enable discussion and debate about how you know these graphs and what they show and what, what sort of um, action the business needs to take in the future. Um, Finally, using uh, technology to track sales data and individual customer preferences leads to the ability for businesses to identify individual uh, preferences and to personalise marketing as a result of that. I've used the example before, but when I log onto the Amazon website, the first thing I see is a bunch of business studies, economics and teaching books. That's because Amazon have got a record of my previous searches on there and they know that I may well be looking uh, for books like this, and this might uh, nudge me towards making a purchase. So, benefits of using technology in making marketing decisions. Um, there are relatively cheap systems uh, to quantify and store large amounts of data, relatively cheap compared to collecting large amounts of paper-based files and having the time of going through them to analyse it. Um, computer software enabling far more effective and quick analysis of data and um, the collection of detailed personalised information leading to the, the ability uh, of a business to personalise marketing therefore making it far more uh, effective and more likely that uh, will result in consumers making purchases in the future. However, um, there is a danger that businesses are collecting too much data, um, which can lead to this scenario of paralysis by analysis, where businesses end up collecting so much data that they don't know what to do with it, and they end up actually not making any decisions, i.e. they're paralysed because they don't know what to do. They've got so much data to review that uh, it actually detracts from decision making. Um, and uh, the use of technology could also arguably lead to an over-reliance on data and the less use of the, the hunch, the gut feeling, uh, the creative uh, decision that isn't based on data. Um, I always kind of use the iPad as an example of a product that has, has been pretty successful. Um, you know, if you'd have asked me uh, you know, five to ten years ago whenever the, the iPad started to come out, you know, do you want this thing that's not quite a phone, it's not quite a laptop? Um, I really would have said no, um, but uh, Steve Jobs had a hunch that it would be successful and, and followed through with that, and it turned out to be a very successful marketing decision. Um, so, uh, that is um, how uh, the value of technology and how it can be used within market research.